you are doing that. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the basic term related with the physics and uh, mechanical engineering. It is called force. First of all, what is force? Force means it is the external agency due to that body is occurring a motion. It is called force. The other definition of force, it is an agent which produces or tends to produce, destroy or tends to destroy the motion of the body, it is called force. The symbol of force is F, it is represented by F and uh, in SI unit, its unit is Newton. SI base unit kg into meter per second square, we can derive it uh, from the equation F equal to ma. Okay, this equation we can derive uh, from the second law of Newton, the rate of change of momentum is proportional to the force. So, m means uh, mass it is in kg and acceleration it is in meter per second square. So, SI base unit is kg into meter per second square. Its dimension is L into m into d raised to minus 2. Now, what are the characteristics of the force? The first one is magnitude. Magnitude means it indicates the value of force. Okay. Magnitude means value of force. For example, uh, on any body, the force is acting 10 kN, 20 kN, 30 kN, etc. Okay. It is the value of the force. It is represented by magnitude. The second one is direction of force. It indicates the angle and sense of the force, say 30 kN force acting in the north direction, in same direction, in opposite direction, etc. So, the force is uh, represented by magnitude, its value 20 kN, 30 kN and its direction, in which direction it will act. The next characteristic of force is nature. The nature of force may be tensile or compressive or we can say push force and pull force. The another characteristic is point of application of the force. The point at which the force acts on the body is called point of application of the force. So, these all are the characteristics of the force. Now, we will discuss the basic terms related with the force. The SI unit of force is a Newton or Kilo Newton. Uh, kilo means 10 raised to 3. Whereas in MKS units, its unit is kg, kgf. Here, 1 Newton force means the force which can produce an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in a mass of 1 kg is called 1 Newton. Whereas 1 kg F force means a force which can produce an acceleration of 9.81 meter per second square in a mass of 1 kg is called 1 kg F force. Here the relationship between kg and newton, 1 kg equal to 9.81 newton and this is an important conversion formula which is used for converting force into kg into newton or newton into kg vice versa. Okay, so this is the uh, relationship between kg and newton, 1 kg equal to 9.81 newton where g is the 9.81 meter per second square, it is the value of, is the value of gravitational acceleration. Now we will discuss types of forces. The first one is gravitational force. It is the force exerted by the earth on a body. And this force does not require any medium. It is always directly vertically downward. Here you can see that the example of the gravitational force, the apple is fall down. Okay, it is always fall down in downward direction due to gravitational force. So it is always act directed vertically downwards. Action and reaction. As per the Newton third law, Whenever a body exerts a force on another body, the other body exerts similar force on the former body or known as reaction. Okay, these are the example of the action and reaction. 
okay the other another example uh, whenever the rocket will be launched okay at that time it will produce the thrust from the nozzle in downward direction and the rocket will be uh, move in upward direction the another example you can consider uh, the balloon okay air filled balloon okay whenever uh, uh, it is released in the atmosphere okay so at that time it will move upward because the air filled in the balloon it will exert a force in downward direction okay this is called action and reaction force the next one is friction force it is the force develop between two bodies because of their surface irregularity it is called frictional force here you can see that okay whenever we apply the uh, push force on a body so at that time the body it will uh, move in left hand side direction so the friction force it will be acting opposite direction or we can say on right hand side direction so friction force is always acting opposite direction of force applied the next one is hydrostatic force it is the force exerted by the water on a body when it is obstructed by it for example in case of a dam okay the water it will be stored in the reservoir so at that time it will act the force on the dam it is the example of hydrostatic force another example you can consider the example of water tank okay the force applied uh, by the water on the tank surface okay this is called hydrostatic force it is the force exerted by the water on a body when it is obstructed by water the next one is wind force so it is the force exerted by the wind when it is obstructed by a body here we can consider the example of the wind mill okay so when the wind will blade okay the air will strike okay and uh, it will rotate the blades of the wind mill turbine okay and it will produce the electricity the next one is cohesion and adhesion cohesion means it is the force developed between two bodies of similar properties whereas adhesion means it is the force developed between two different bodies or we can say uh, between two bodies of different properties okay here we are considering the example of a glass uh, filled with water okay so the same molecules uh, water particles okay the forces are acting it is called cohesive forces between the same molecules okay and uh, the glass surface and the water okay it is the different surface okay so the forces are acting between the glass surface and water it is a adhesive forces next one is electric and magnetic force so these are the forces developed between two electrically or magnetically charged particles or charged bodies it is called electric and magnetic force last one is thermal force so these are the forces developed due to uh, heating or cooling of a bodies so at that time the stresses are generated okay we have already discussed okay in my previous lecture so uh, thermal stress means the it is depend on a uh, temperature difference so whenever the temperature will be increases so at that time the metal will expand okay and it will generate the thermal forces now what are the effects of the force in physics motion is defined as the change in position with respect to time in simple words motion refers to the movement of a body or typically motion can either be described as change in speed and change in direction the force has different effect and here are some of them we will discuss the first one is force can make a body that is at rest to move means whenever the body it is in rest position and whenever we apply the force so at that time uh, it will occur in motion the next one is it can stop a moving body or slow it down okay we can also uh, change the velocity of the body whenever we apply the opposite force or we can say we can also stop the moving body by applying force for example we can consider uh, the braking force okay it is applied uh, on the brakes and our vehicle it is in motion it will stop due to the braking force the third one it can accelerate the speed of a moving body okay we can also increase the speed or we can increase the acceleration of the moving body by applying the force the fourth one it can also change the direction of a moving body along with its shape and size 
so by applying the force uh, in case of a deformable bodies we can also change the shape and size of the body or we can also change the direction of the body so uh, these are the facts related with the effect of force so thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more video notification